Today I'm going to be talking about cells. All living things are made up of tiny cells, like a pig. But are all cells the same? <laughs> Absolutely not. All cells can be categorized by their different organelles, like a plant has chloroplast, multicellular, eukaryotic, with some auto and some hetero. Plus, it has a cell wall. What on earth? Plants make their food with sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. The different kinds of eating are autotrophic and heterotrophic, but most plants are autotrophic. They make their food on their own. The animals from Animalia need to get their food from other things, like pigs. And what is eukaryotic? All cells have genetic material, but they don't keep it in the same place. For example, planta keeps the genetic material inside the nucleus, and eubacteria keeps the genetic material just floating around in the cell. Because planta has a nucleus, that makes it eukaryotic, and because eubacteria doesn't, makes it prokaryotic. Some organisms are made of only one cell, like Bob, and Charlie is made of several cells. Each of these characteristics govern where the cell is categorized. The domains are bacteria, eukarya, and archaea. Bacteria cells are mostly unicellular, prokaryotic, some auto, and some hetero with a cell wall, which means they have no bones and need rigid support. Eukarya has multicellular, eukaryotic, with some hetero, some auto, some cell wall, and some not cells. And archaea is exactly the same as bacteria, but they live in extreme environments. Let's make bacteria blue, archaea orange, and eukarya pink. Let's do bacteria, eukarya, and archaea. Eukarya has four kingdoms, animalia, protista, fungi, and plantae. Archaea has archaebacteria, and bacteria has eubacteria. You can see me categorizing each cell by their characteristics. Many cells are extremely similar. Little differences set the cells apart from one kingdom to another. For example, plantae and fungi. They're both multicellular, eukaryotic, have a cell wall, but their eating habits are different. Plantae is autotrophic and fungi is heterotrophic. Eating habits can separate them from one kingdom to another. Learning about cells, it was one of my favorite parts of sixth grade science class. Well, bye!